Hi, I'm Will with Kimray. Today, I'll show you how to repair a back mount Gen 2 liquid level controller. I'll cover how to replace or repair the pilot, how to change the spring, and how to perform a full repair. Here's what you'll need. Needle nose pliers, flathead screwdriver, 1 8th, 1 quarter, and 7 64th Allen wrench, a pick, and the Gen 2 repair kit. The two most common types of maintenance for the Gen 2 involve the pilot or the spring. A great feature of the Gen 2 is that both components can be replaced while the controller is still connected to the vessel. You can choose to either repair or replace the pilot, depending on your needs. If you're replacing the pilot, disconnect your supply gas, open the case and inspect the gasket for rips or tears. Note whether the pilot is in snap or throttle mode and the position of the pull pin. Remove the pull pin to relieve tension on the pilot. Remove the two flathead screws and replace the unit with a new YBU pilot, setting it on either snap or throttle as previously noted. The spring balances the weight of the displacer. To change the spring, Use an 8 inch Allen wrench to loosen the set screw. Turn the adjustment knob counterclockwise to unthread it. Remove the adjustment knob and spring. Then replace your spring, adjustment knob, and set screw. If you're doing a full product repair, set these parts aside along with the pilot and continue disassembly. Mark which hole the tangent arm is in and move the pin to the neutral position to help stabilize the waggle arm assembly. Remove the mounting bolts attaching the retainer to the back plate and set the retainer aside. Remove the pivot rod. Then pry loose the waggle arm wire, adjustment screw, and link. Remove the back plate from the mounting piece assembly. Remove the waggle arm from the mounting piece. Then using a pick or a similar tool, remove and discard the Teflon seal ring and O-ring. To begin assembly of the mounting piece, install the Teflon backup into the groove. Next, install the O-ring. Apply a small amount of grease to the threaded end of the waggle arm and insert it into the mounting piece while slowly rotating clockwise to avoid cutting the O-ring or backup. Attach the back plate to the waggle arm housing. Insert the adjustment screw through the plate and attach the waggle arm wire. Insert the pivot rod into the housing. Place the retainer over the housing, verifying that the pivot rod sits in the counter bore then tighten the mounting screws in place. Install the spring and adjustment knob, then tighten the set screw. Lastly, return the pull pin to its original position.
Use a pick to remove and discard the three O-rings from the back of the body. Remove the three screws with a 7 64th Allen wrench from the snap adjustment housing. Hold tension on the cap and slowly remove them so the top doesn't pop off. Next, remove the diaphragm assembly. If the diaphragm is stuck, use pliers on the stem of the actuator to pull it out. Turn the assembly over and discard the pilot plug and throttle spring. Remove the three screws on the lower cap to remove the actuator assembly. Discard the assembly, lower cap, and spring. Remove the thumb screw, washer, and switch plate from the block. Then use a pick to remove the O-rings from the back of the switch plate. Lastly, make sure the switch plate and the block are both clear of debris. Now that everything is fully disassembled, we're ready to open the repair kit. Start by putting the new O-rings on the switch plate. Attach the switch plate to the block using the washer and thumb screw. Insert the thumb screw and tighten. Attach the spring to the actuator and insert it into the block. Make sure the lower diaphragm assembly is aligned in the bore before securing the lower cap in place. Attach the lower cap using Loctite on the three screws. Replace the pilot plug, small ball first. Apply a small amount of grease and place the spring and spring plate in the upper cap. Apply grease to the assembly where the throttle spring will rest. Then place the throttle spring, small end first, on the upper diaphragm assembly. Apply Loctite to the three screws to have them ready. Place the diaphragm assembly into the pilot block making sure that it sits in the bore and is not hanging over. Align the diaphragm and place the top cap over the assembly. Confirm that the top cap is sitting evenly to ensure the diaphragm is still in the bore before tightening. Lastly, replace the three O-rings on the back of the pilot body. That completes our repair. For testing and calibration, consult your local Kimray repair shop. For any other questions, Contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor.